That's two beast data. I know these are just memories. But still... No, don't! Don't do this! Finally woke up then! Sir Percival of Sadly Grove, Noble Knight, Order of the Guardians of the Shushus! You saved my soul! I will repay this debt even if it costs me my life! That's not the way he talks to me, a knight? <laughs> I've heard that one before. I command you to put a sock in it, demon! You'd still be a farmhand if it wasn't for me, and a dead one at that. I had a moment of weakness, that's all! I'd have been just fine without you! The truth is that you're nothing but a lowly peasant, totally unworthy of guarding a shushu, mm -hmm. especially one of my quality. Are you gonna shut up? Guardian, my foot! <laughs> and, oh, I got a special guest for y'all today, Mr. Kyle McCarley. Right? Hi, everybody. Right. Yes, you, you got it. Oh, man. Uh, let's get in, into the interview. First of all, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. At, uh, at Anime Next. I'm doing great. I have I have not set foot on the convention floor yet, um, but I've been walking around Atlantic City. I've never been here before. And Oh, really? Yeah. First time here? Yeah, first time here. You're from... I, I live from, in L.A. You live in L.A., yeah. but you're from Kentucky? Kansas. Kansas. Close. Kansas. Starting with a K, yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh... First question, what made you get into into voice acting? Uh, so my story goes, I, I grew up, all I ever wanted to do was be an actor. Right. I mean, well, when I was a kid, I wanted to be everything. Of course. But as I grew up, as I grew up, actor stayed as everything else fell away. Uh, and I moved out to Los Angeles and I went to the University of Southern California, studied theater. Um, and at some point along the line, I kind of lost my love for being on camera and being on stage. But while I was going to school, I got really into World of Warcraft. Nice. nice. And I got involved with a, a fan site for the game called WoW Radio. It was a, a podcasting, okay. live podcasting network. And uh, and I, I, I wrote, well, co-wrote, co-directed, and played like 12 different characters <laughs> in, <Wow>. in a <laughs> radio play set within the WoW universe. And so about a year after I graduated from college and I was floundering around not knowing what I was doing with my life anymore, I thought back on that radio play and went, voiceover seems like it could be a lot of fun. Maybe I should uh, take a class in that and... Mm -hmm. Fast forward years later, right? <laughs> and here we are. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, you have been a, a very busy man. You open acting almost this whole whole last year and this year so far. I you yeah. Have shows and movies and video games coming it's, out. It's it's been a good couple of years. <laughs> Past two or three years now, it's it's been pretty. Things right. have been rolling. Right, you finally. Uh, <laughs> near Armada, right? Near, near Automata was, Automata was probably the, well, Automata Automata. The, the pronunciation right is different Potato depending Potato on who you ask. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not S. How how is that working on such a uh, incredible game? Game is absolutely amazing. It I, is. I I loved it, um, and I, I don't think anybody really knew how big it was going to end up being anybody who was who was working on it but right. uh it 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 blew away everybody's expectations for sure oh, and, and everybody expects it it's it's so good it's so good and i i uh i played through the whole thing on my twitch channel nice nice so people could experience me experiencing the game <laughs> like and and that was that was a whole lot of fun. I got I got to interact with fans in a way that, that nobody used to be. You, you couldn't do that even right. like five six years ago. Right. Yes. And so it's it's really cool. Yeah. Like uh, Twitch is it seemed to open up you know us to y'all in, in such a way like like you said it had never been done before. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's amazing for the fans to, to connect with with some of the items and it's stuff. It's amazing for us. Yeah. To, to be able to to sit there and play through the game and, and go, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. And somebody who's 
you know, an expert is in the chat room. They're like, go here and you go there and you can get this cool weapon and it'll make things so much easier for right. you. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have even thought to look here. Right. <laughs> we got to plug the uh, uh, Twitch channel. Uh, oh, twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. There you go. <laughs> follow y'all. Follow him on, on Twitch, you guys. Uh, okay. Uh, next question. Um, what is what is your favorite character that you have done so far? Oh, it's like asking me to pick my favorite child. I know. That's that's so hard. I know. Nine uh, S is incredible. Nine S is incredible. Um, I I I love I, I I love them all for different reasons though. I like Nine S is is a is definitely a highlight for for a lot of different reasons. For the fact that it it, it was kind of a big breakout role for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's, he, he has such an interesting arc that, that happy go lucky fall from grace, right. <laughs> like, right. it's a, like complete two opposite ends of the spectrum. Right. Uh, so I love nine ass. I love Mikazuki from mobile suit Gundam Iron Blooded yep. Orphans. Yep. I, I grew up, I was a huge Gundam, Gundam Wing uh, fan. Gundam was, was, was every, uh, fan show, like. Yeah. So when when I was in this is this is gonna give away my age, I think, if you do some math, but when I was in middle school, I was watching Gundam Wing on Toonami when it was an after school block. Yes, yeah. And I uh I my friends and I all picked characters from the show that were like our characters. I was Catra. <laughs> yes. And I uh I came to school one day dressed in Catra cosplay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure before cosplay was a word. On just a regular school day. Just, just cosplay to school for no reason. <laughs> so no, I'm gonna do it. It's a done deal. So <laughs> it's Katra. That's, that, that's amazing. Yeah. And so and and Mikazuki is also that was my first lead role in in anything major. Uh I'd done a couple pretty sizable roles in anime before, but that was the first like right. main character part. Right. And so when I when I got that role, I was and, ecstatic. And who that that kid? Yeah, and was exactly. To, to, oh, and and uh, I've, I've I've tried to dig up a picture of that costume. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I'm certain my mom took one, but there's just boxes full of photos. And there's probably only one right there, in there somewhere right there. buried in that stack. Speaking of uh, interesting characters, I, I just got done watching last night at, uh, on Blame. It's, uh, okay, Killing, yeah, on Killy, and uh, he was he was my favorite character. He came out of nowhere, captured everybody's heart, and just like disappeared. I'm like, what happened to him? I know you yeah, don't know. No, I, I, I have no idea. But well, um, well, he was he was a great I, character. I oh god I am speaking from a place of absolutely no knowledge but I think there is more to the story oh. in the in the the graphic novels I think I'm have to pick those up. I don't I'm know for sure up. maybe that means there will be more anime at some point right. I don't know um yeah that's that was a cool role for me mm-hmm. too because it's completely different from most of the characters yeah. that I end up playing cuz I I tend to the the trend in voiceover these days tends to be natural sounding voices. So I play characters that sound like okay, me okay. a lot, um, or maybe maybe a little bit higher pitched version of myself. <laughs> so I'm playing a whole lot of these young mm-hmm. young hero types, sometimes not so heroic. If, if you're a fan of Fate Stay Night, yes, you know what yes, I'm talking are, about. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, you know a lot of so a lot of those younger characters and uh, and then Blaine came along and I got to I got to be like the cool the badass who doesn't yes. say a whole lot doesn't say a whole lot <laughs> shows up stomps out all the bad guys saves everybody yeah and just disappears into the night yeah <laughs> the sun goes down like he was a good character I love that that that, that movie yeah all right it's um, really cool. One question: uh, What advice would you give to uh, up and coming voice actors? Oh gosh, that's a that's a long topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But um, I would say uh, stay positive is is the, the biggest advice I can give you because there's a whole lot of opportunities to get down on yourself. You face a whole lot of rejection. Um, and it's not even like people telling you, hey, you're never going to be able to do this. Uh, maybe you will face that. I don't know. But it's, it's just... It's, you audition for mm. hundreds and thousands of roles and and you you don't get anything on the vast majority of them. Right. You'll never hear anything. Right. And so that can get really depressing, especially when it starts to compound and you're not booking much. And it happens to it happens to the best of us right. in this in this world where you go a couple months or longer at a time without really hearing anything for, for anything that you're auditioning for and you're submitting for probably 20, 30 different projects every week. Mm. So when none of that pans out for you, it just, it really can eat at you. So if you stay positive and just believe that you can do it, obviously you still need to get the training. Right. You still need to, you, you need to know what you're doing right. first and foremost, but once you're at that point and you're submitting and you're not getting anywhere, obviously you want to reevaluate if what if your if your skills really are there. Right. But hey, keep faith. Okay. That's that's my number one piece of advice. Go to I want to be a voice actor dot com for a big huge treasure trove yeah. of information. Voice actor by the name of D. Bradley Baker put that website together and it's there you go. An amazing resource. You want to be a voice actor. That one piece of information right there could have set you off. Um, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter, at Kyle McCarley. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley. Right, thank you, man. Greatly appreciate your time. Absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, what's next. Okay. Well, uh, I can talk about it. It just came out today. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I'm the voice of Hyde nice. from Under Night and Birth. Nice. So... Check that out Check for that PS4 out, and Switch. Yep. All right. Comment, boss. Talk to y'all later. Peace.